Hello everyone and welcome again. In today's video we're gonna have a look at our next microchip which is 12F615. So we're gonna continue from the previous project. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna give it a name 12F615. There we go. I'm gonna copy it. Now I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna set it as my main project. We copied all the files and everything from the previous project so now we're gonna have to go into project properties and change the device now this peak is a mid-range 8-bit micro microcontroller unit so we have to find it in here 12f615 I'm gonna be using my pick it for programmer and this is my compiler I'm gonna click apply and okay so we've got this now let's go ahead and open our source file let's open here again let me just move it there and there right so just so i remember and for the clarity i'm going to rename this as a 12f615 there we go click ok now we've got 12F615 and 10F200 next to each other. So these, uh, they both are the same. So what we have to do, we're gonna have to do three things. We're gonna we need to change the um, uh, configuration bits for this pick, uh, which let's just uh, change this as well. 12F615, so everything is clear, okay? Now uh, we're going to change configuration bits. We're going to have a look how to address the trace register and GP register as well. So now let's do the configuration bits. We're going to go to production, set configuration bits. And now we see for 615 there are a little bit more options than 10F200. So um, oscillator, I'm going to select the internal oscillator now watchdog timer i'm gonna set it to off power up i'm gonna set it to off leave it to off now um mclr pin function uh, select with um we're gonna leave it just let's leave it off maybe okay so off eight megahertz that's lovely and uh, brown reset and uh, let's just gonna say off okay now generate the source code we're gonna have to copy all this and replace with the previous one so starting from include I'm gonna go up to there I'm gonna paste it so now we've got the configuration bits and uh, without changing anything there from the previous code let's have a look and try to build it okay we've got some errors there so already we know that instructions from the previous pick are not going to be accepted for this one so we have to go to our data sheet and have a look how do we address the pick 12f615 registers tris and a gp uh, or ports register so let's make me this little bit smaller I'm going to bring up uh, the data sheet again multiple devices including our one 615 let's go to um, the diagram this one is not that right this is our 615 okay so what we see here we've got the uh, voltage supply to the pick now we've got our uh, ports GP 0 1 2 three four and five a little bit more than on the previous one now also uh, this diagram now is telling us with this uh, arrows um, the direction of the ports the trace register can be set to input or output on these ones but the gp3 can be input only so we have to remember that when we program and when we want to use it we can use it only as an input okay so knowing this let's go uh, to our input output port okay so we need to read this to understand what's happening all these instructions are in assembly language so um, they're, they're not used to us um, at the moment I'm gonna write it in C also what we can note is a uh, GP is can be called as a port and TRIS can be called as a TRIS A but this is only for the full port okay so first let's have a look at our trace register which is here okay so 
that's how we address it tris io for the whole port which is 8 bit two upper bits are not in use they read always as zero and this ones we can address so we've got six bits to use bit number uh, three we can read only can be read only which is which is input okay so let's go there and modify our code to um, adapt to 615 uh, pic 12615 so tris io okay tris io and just by changing that we already see that the compiler is understanding this instruction let me just delete this for a moment okay so if i try to build it now okay great it's happy with that so we know that our uh, bit number three it's um input only so i am just gonna indicate that so again like i just so this is uh, zero this is one this is two and this is my bit number uh, three so i'm just gonna change it to one just to say that this is uh, input only okay great so now this is our trace register done let's go to our ports or gp register there we go gpio is the name for our register to address the pins so i'm going to go to the next line gpio is equal to zero binary and now top ones are zero only oh let me just change this yep they read always as zero so i'm gonna uh, reflect that zero zero now two uh, top ones number five and four are ones number three can be uh, input only so i'm just gonna set it to zero and the rest three of them we're gonna set them high because we want to uh, see if they're on so now let's check one two three four five six seven eight bits lovely great now let's build this quickly and see if we're uh, successful great we are now uh, let's go to our pick we're gonna go to uh, the diagram again let me just uh, go up okay so this is our diagram for um, this pick i'm gonna move it to this side there and now let's go to our connections okay so this is the pick that gonna, we're going to be using today i don't know if you can see let's have a look there 12 f615 yes okay so we've got our jumper wires there and um, from the positive and the negative so i'm just going to place it here according to our diagram there is a positive and there is a negative so that actually fits our setup now from my um, programmer i'm gonna go the green one is a master clear uh, reset mclr which is here on uh, pin number four so i'm just gonna connect this to pin number four there now we've got um data and the clock on pins number seven and number six so let me just uh, grab these two okay so this is a data oh, move aside so blue one is a data and we need to connect it to number seven there it's a data and the clock the yellow one so there we go number six there there lovely so these are our connections and now if we are successful and let me just bring it down if we're successful in building and programming then it's gonna be okay right let me click this one okay build is successful now can we connect it and program it yep programming verify complete lovely so now let's go and uh, check if our connections um are as we expect let me just zoom in a little bit there that's lovely so now i'm going to be probing with um, 
our LED connected to the current limiting uh, resistor and we're going to be probing the pins to see if uh, the uh, setup was uh, successful now again going through our GPIO uh, setup we can see that this is what we are expecting these are the pins so pin number uh, zero from the right hand side zero one two three four and five top two unused so GP zero let's go there GP zero yep lovely on one yes GP two yes GP three seem input only so we're not going to be probing that that's going to be a zero okay now we got four and five lovely so we successfully set them up as high ones and um, so this is a permanent as we can see in the program there is no toggling we're going to have a look at this in our next programs and next videos now let's go back to the data sheet for a moment and let's move it aside what the instruction oh, not this way what the instructions always uh, also telling us uh, we can address this as uh, port a and trace a we can start using these names as there is only one port we're gonna call it a oh, C -pop -C. call it a trace on trace a and gpio we can start calling it port a port a and that is the same so that's going to be the same okay so now uh, let's change those uh, values for the port a and let's use the um, hexadecimal value so we're going to keep this for a moment I'm just going to make some space so to to program it in the uh, um, hex we're going to say 0x and now how we have to do is we have to separate the uh, them to uh, two nibbles and address them as a oops as a um, hex so first zero one 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 we have to have a look what is that and in a hexadecimal that is going to be seven yep and zero one one so again if we look at the um, hexadecimal that is going to be three so that is three let me just delete this there we go bring this as it should be and close the command there now let's build and program it at the same time I built successful and programming successful so now we just translated this uh, previous command from binary to hexadecimal so there should be no changes let's quickly pro uh, probe it let's see yep mm -hmm. lovely great so now let's say that we want to switch off these two first ones gp0 and gp1 we, we're going to switch them off so the first the last uh, four bits gonna change so from seven now what we're gonna have we're gonna have zero just say we're gonna have zero zero one zero and zero zero one zero in hex is four so instead of seven we're gonna place four and we're gonna just build and program it okay build successful programming successful so let's probe it what we're expecting is zero 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 one zero and the rest of it is once as we have not changed anything on the upper nibble lovely so that's how we can address the trace and port uh, register now in this pick in addition to both of them let me just bring it like that what we can do is uh, we can address each pin separately each bit separately for um, trace register we can uh, set them up separately we can say input input output uh, this one's input only but this one can be input and output whatever we like and we can address the pins separately as well 
instead of um, writing the whole string we just address them as per the instructions um, noted here so each separate pin is a tris IO and relevant uh, bit and then the same thing for the pins GP and then relevant bit that we want to change lovely so that's how we address the uh, tris and port um, registers in 615 as we can uh, compare it to our previous program for um, 10F200 the instructions are changing so the programs written for one pick um, they're not going to be uh, compatible with the next one in terms of these two we're going to have a look what's happening with the uh, other ones thank you very much and i welcome you to our next video thank you